Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. In this particular video we're going to show you the new in-play strategy scanner that our programmer has uh, kindly built for us. I'm going to show you how to use it, how to get the best out of it and get yourself set up to um, start trading, save some time and effort and most importantly earn some money via it. We've got some captions to help you on your way. You say we can sort it by a date, time, score, event, matched amounts, 1.5, 2.5 correct score, match odds. And this can all be set up to uh, suit your own sort of uh, style of trading. It can be set up via time elapsed in the game, score, and event. Now, if we hover the mouse over a particular odds, we can see the Betfair graphs. Likewise, if you go into that uh, price, then you can actually go straight to the Betfair page, log into your account, uh, and place the trade that way. If you hover on the show on the right hand side, you can see the correct score odds, the current ones with little arrow indicators for up and down, price drifting or coming in. And as I say, you can sort it as to uh, your own sort of style of trading, your own way of doing it, time elapsed in the game, uh, via the current score, which is uh, a personal favourite, sorting it out so that uh, the nil-nils are at the top, so you can then look to um, get on, sort of lay the draw, full Monty's, this kind of uh, strategy, way of uh, profiting, and there we go. Or if you want, you can sort it by match odds, in the match odds. Go Swansea Everton, top of the uh, pile. Or you can do it via the 2.5 matched top Schalke Munich. Saturday coupon, obviously uh, plenty of games, so we can delete some of them that we don't want. Some of these obscure leagues where there's... Uh, £2.50 in the correct score market, we can delete some of those by the little uh, cross red cross at the side there, get rid of them. Some of these sort of outer Hebrides games that uh, are listed for some bizarre reason on Betfair, we don't want, I guess they uh, need them, but we don't, so let's offload. and try and find some games. So what can we do with this? Well, we can find any sort of thing we want, really. Let's um, put in, say, 1.6, 2.4 for the home side. And there we go, currently three games that fall under that uh, price bracket. Uh, to delete, we can just click here, or we can just enter the information over the top of the uh, previous entry. Either way, doesn't matter. Neither's wrong. What else can we do with this little beast that is going to save people time, effort, frustration, banging heads on desks? Let's have a look for over 2.5 between, say, uh, between 1 and uh, 1.3. So a lot of games, obviously, nil-nil at half-time uh, will come out under this sort of uh, category. And there we go. We can delete that or override it. Um, aside deleting on the right-hand side, we can actually uh, uh, take out a lot of the games by putting a, a minimum sort of uh, amount. In this case we can put in 25, so 1000. And any game with uh, money under that uh, will be taken off the list. So on a Saturday when you've got a big long list of games, you know, try and bring the uh, the list down to you know, say one page and say scrolling up and down constantly. It'll make it easier for you and um, you know, save a bit of uh, Save a few crucial seconds when you could be making 
pennies, pounds. Right, let's show you one more. Say the 2 1 and the adster aperitif, where we always want a minimum of tens. Otherwise, anything lower, we've got no value in that score. And this was brought up the games where the price is at least tens and a maximum of 14s currently. So we've got, uh, what have we got there? Six games. And there you can see. Just hover over the show and you can see. Uh, the odds for the correct score. Brilliant, genius, I hear you all shouting. What a great tool. Yes, we agree. Uh, the old classic, I know two or three of you uh, use. Have a look for games, say, uh, between three and uh, three and, say, what, 3.5 for the draw and the match odds. Or say uh, two and five between the match odds, whatever you want. You know, it's your tool, you can put in uh, whatever suits your sort of level style of trading. And if we want to click the time uh, and the score, once we've entered the criteria, we can do that. And it's, it's very flexible. And we're going to show you how to use the little time bar here. So it's going to find games between. If we look between 12 and 90, you'll see there are no games, but you can use it by the arrow key back and forth. Or use the actual uh, cursor on the slider. And obviously you can see the minutes there. Uh, between 16 and 90 minutes, all of the other games have been taken out. Likewise, what we've done now, we've moved it between 17 and 26, and it's only going to find games between 17 and 26 minutes. So whatever you uh, put it between, it will find those games. Okay, I've just moved it between 17 and 46, so it's found all of the games between 17 and 46 minutes inclusive. Right, so have a little play around with that. Any questions, you can drop us a line, but it's fairly sort of easy, straightforward to use. Okay, if we move it back to 90, obviously it's going to find all games between 17 and 90 minutes. All right, if I moved it up to, say, 18, that 17 minute at the top there would drop off because obviously it's the first 17 minutes. All right, likewise, you can use it the other way. You can find games, say, the first um, uh, 0 to 23 minutes. So it's found all of the games where the draw is priced between 2 and 5 from kickoff to 23 minutes. We've got five games that uh, come under that criteria. Brilliant. Superb. All right, so that's giving you a bit of a sort of... Uh, starter on that but let's add personal strategies here um, which will be there every time you go in they will automatically have saved from the previous time so you can go in and it will be there so we'll look for match odds between um, uh, 1.6 and 2.1 we'll add another price filter which obviously you can do to find the two ones between, um, say, 10s. Uh, I'll just put in 10s. So anything from 10 upwards, it will find those games. All right, there's currently one. Also with the Atra Aperitif, really you want a minimum liquidity of 10,000 pounds at kickoff. So I'm going to put in here 10,000. So it'll only find these games that fit these three, uh, these three things. All right, there's a little audio alert on the top right hand side there. You can see liquidity just above there on the right hand side. There's a little speaker uh, which will alert you to um, every new game that it finds. So you can hear that in the background and you'll know that another game has been found. 
right, let's uh, let's enter uh, something else. We'll try and find some, say, four Montes. All right, now you, the, there's no minimum amount that you can put down for this. You can have your own strategies, three, four, five, going all the way down the page. Um, you know, some people like the Clint, some people like the lay the draw. You can set it up for a Clint where the overs hit twos, 2.0. So you know, as soon as that hits, you can jump on a clint. Uh, some people like to uh, back the favourite when they're one down. You can set it up to do that. Uh, you can set it up for obviously lay the draw. Um, so, so many things you can do with it. You're not limited at all. So here we go. We're putting it after 40 minutes, 40 to 90 minutes, where the under 2.5 is between 1 and 1.3. Any games we don't want here, we can just delete on the right hand side with the X, take those out. Um, and then you just jump on. Just put your trades in and uh, wait for the goals. Uh, we got some sort of thoughts on upgrades uh, in the near future, probably next month, November, that will make it even better even uh, stronger, more profitable, we feel it will really be uh, give it the icing on the cake. So we're looking forward to that. If you've got any ideas or uh, suggestions or any feedback at all, feel free to drop us a line. We appreciate that. Good or bad. Okay, just show you a couple more things. Just searching for games where the match odds say between two and three, and the draw is between say uh, uh, between two and three as well. Enter that, and there we go. Exceptional. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, you got something out of it, uh, and you'll get a lot of use out of it. Um, and we'll see you in the uh, next video.